welcome to the first vlog of 2023. I missed Vlogmas already. It was so fun. Shh. No. And I wish I hadn't had a break because I definitely feel really, really rusty now. I also have a real like back to school anxiety but it's all gonna be fine my aim for this year and the vibe is just to be delusionally positive so that is the approach i'm taking with this and it is all gonna be great as you can see new year new makeup spot i thought i'd switch things up a little bit i don't know if this is gonna be good or not i mean i look puffy as hell right now but yeah i'm sat here i've got my little makeup mirror and um, for like basically the entirety of Christmas, this is where I've been enjoying doing my makeup. I don't know why, but today I am going to get my nails done. Not that they need doing, I've been doing them at home over Christmas, which has been the dream because if they're bare, I will just pick them, attack them, like any, you name it, I will just like ruin them. So I, my gels don't last very well at the moment. I don't know why, it's just a me thing. It's not happening to you, anyone else except me. Um, but around like two and a half weeks, just as I'm approaching three weeks, bearing in mind they normally would last like three to four, um, they start really lifting. I don't know if it's because I have them longer now, but um, once they start lifting, I take them off at home and redo them myself so that I don't have to like pay to have them done every two weeks because that's just, just a little bit much. I don't know if I can justify that. So the last week I have an at home set and then I go back uh, to Ella so today I'm going back to Ella but they've lasted really well this week I'm really impressed this color is a very good color I think I also double top coated um which I think does make all the difference when you're doing like an at-home gel but yeah it's like a really nice greeny glittery color really gorgeous I'm gonna put it on my toes at some point I just don't really have a reason to paint my toenails at the moment so I'm kind of putting it off because what's the point I have no plans everyone cancelled all of the plans this week and next week so this girl is gonna be very very bored at some point soon so that will be interesting but today we are going in to brighton i'm gonna get my nails done i'm very much looking forward to it because i feel like i've just been at home being a sloth for the best part of two weeks now and um it's getting a bit tedious uh well actually it's not but i just get into this routine of if i'm being like slothy i just find it hard to drag myself out of it and i stay being a sloth and having like this real lack of volition and not wanting to do anything but the second i am like busy and booked i am so productive super happy like yeah probably some deep rooted issue there but anyway we are going to do some makeup i have i actually have a little while this is probably one of the first times in a while that i can actually say i'm not running late i don't know how i have managed this but i'm not complaining i'm starting by taking a little bit of the nars what concealer is this the soft matte concealer i haven't used this in years but i found this shade in my drawer and it was like a really nice pinky peachy color and i was like that is the perfect dark circle cover up color and as always i was right it really is that is so nice i feel like i need you closer you probably can't see maybe this won't be my makeup setup forever Oh, what dark circles? What dark circles? I'm actually going to use a new foundation. This is from Jones Road, which is Bobbi Brown's new brand. Look at this. It's giving like dream matte mousse, but in the best way. I actually used this. Where is my brush? Where is my brush? The only thing with this is I'm never really sure how you're meant to apply it. So I like to take a little bit onto the back of my hand uh, and then dip my brush in it. So I used this yesterday for a TikTok and I really liked it. It has like a real skincare-y kind of smell to it. I can't put my finger on what the smell is, but there's a skincare product that I have actually used. Um, maybe like an Aesop or an Antipodes or something like that years and years and years ago. No, it was an oil, it was the pie. How do I, how does my brain remember these things? Um, it was the pie oil face oil but the consistency of this is really stunning it's kind of like a medium coverage really really creamy formula and yeah i love it it's great so i'm using the shade beige i actually think i could go slightly lighter so this is described as a moisture tint i would say it has a decent amount of coverage am i gonna risk this 
Oh my god, I'm not sure. Going straight in. My skin looked very nice at the end of the day yesterday evening and there were two things that I changed in my routine and one was this foundation, so I have high hopes for today's makeup, which is good because my puffy face needs all the help it can get. I don't normally like get straight up and do my makeup straight away. I normally leave it on purpose so I don't have to look at this, but I just need to get up and out straight away today. I'm back on my Charlotte Tilbury dance floor princess bandwagon. Every time I come off and then come back to it, I wonder why I ever came off the bandwagon because it's just such a good lipstick tone especially once it like mattes down it's really nice it's like what i wish matt q was so blush time i did this yesterday and it looked really good i actually some of you may remember i used to do this a lot like this time last year and i've been looking back through so many vlogs wondering why my makeup looked really nice and a TikTok yesterday, um, there's that TikTok going around that's about Mary Phillips and her contouring technique. It reminded me that I did the same thing, but with my blush this time last year. And I did it again yesterday and my skin looked really good. So I'm gonna do it again today. And I've made a little TikTok on this, but it was basically a real happy accident. I didn't mean to do this at all, but um, I just over applied my blush and I'd ruined my entire makeup look. So went over my blush with a foundation brush but it looked so good like you actually kind of make yourself look slightly outrageous and then just go over the top with the foundation and you just get this real perfect blend and the foundation almost like alters the blush slightly as well so the tone is slightly different Do you know what? I need a little bit more, but I don't actually want anything too heavy. Like, I don't want to have too many layers of makeup on, so I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics CC cream over the top of this. Hmm. I am not sure if I've done a good job today or not, but uh, we'll see how I feel once my face is deep after a little bit okay i am in the car we are ready to roll so far i don't think i'm actually running late this is a new year miracle new year new me no just kidding new year same basic human being oh i got new gloves by the way what do we think i i think that i should not own nude gloves personally being a makeup girly i'm not sure this was a great choice of color but they're super soft I love them. I got them for Christmas from my mum. I'm actually going to show you uh, what I got for Christmas in today's vlog. But until then, I need to go and get my snails done. went for something a little bit out there to start off 2023 just setting the tone for the year you know strong start i'm home i made it in literally as it started peeing it down very very lucky it's now very dark and i just want to cozy up and just kind of not really too much which is uh not the vibes for vlogging in january but i thought i'd show you what i wore today underneath my uh what is the brand stan studio coat which i love i really wish i got it in black does it come in black that is the question that i should ask before purchasing anything ever because whenever i love something i always wish i bought it in black so yeah slight regret there but it is gorgeous and so cozy but i do kind of wish i bought it in black however it did work really nicely with my jumper today which is from 
and other stories i think i've had this one for a very very long time it's like the perfect like oversized but not too oversized fit and the material I think they still sell this actually. I definitely recommend this if you can get your hands on it, if they do still sell it. The material is just like, just the right thickness for it not being too chunky and making you feel like, like if you're very chest heavy, you know when you wear knit and it just makes you feel like your chest is like a hundred times bigger than it actually is. It's like the perfect material, so it doesn't make me feel like that. And it falls really nicely, but without there being just like too much excess material, it's really, really lovely. I also am getting like good vibes with it now that I've dyed my hair. I think if you are a brunette, this is a really nice like color to wear, but I actually think when I had lighter hair, it was kind of not really doing very much, but I think the contrast is quite nice. I'm just wearing my Adenola leggings, and then I've got my white company socks, and my slippers, uh, I was wearing my Uggs, but the natural progression when I come in is always this. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this as a little at-home outfit. It's very beige. I also went to the shop on my way home, so we have lots of veggies. I actually really wanted to go and do a little bit of shopping whilst I was in Brighton earlier, but I went into M&S to get the veggies and I realised something on me, literally as I went into M&S, there was something I was wearing, whether it was my sunglasses or my watch strap or my earrings were setting. Is this a bit bright? Hang on. Um, something was setting like the alarms off and I just couldn't be bothered to go through several other shops having to explain to every individual security guard that they didn't need to check my M&S bag and that it was actually something I was wearing and I have no idea what it is that I'm wearing and couldn't be bothered. Um, and actually it worked out very well because it's pouring it down with rain. So that definitely worked out in my favour in some ways. I am very sad that I didn't get a wander around boots in though because I did quite fancy looking at like a few makeup-y bits and things like that. But it is what it is. I picked up loads of veggies which Ryan is very happy about. We watched the Stephen Bartlett uh, podcast the other day I say watch because we always like watch listen to them on YouTube um, but there was one with this like what is he like a, something something insanely clever and he like specializes in like food and now our fridge is fully stocked with like kombucha and kimchi and all of this weird ass stuff but it's so so funny and I can't lie I always enjoy it when Ryan gets into like a new food area because it just always means that he cooks like which is never a bad thing. I'll show you what we end up with for dinner because uh, it might be a bit weird. It might not, it might just be noodles, but it might be a bit weird. Hello, chef. What are we having this evening? Uh, I'm trying to work out. <laughs> I was telling them about uh, the fact that you're obsessed with Tim Spector and that we might end up with something weird for dinner. No, it's going to be a pretty normal dinner. Yeah? Mm, okay. Just tofu. Ooh, yum. Um, just made the sauce. I don't really know what it would be called. <laughs> Sweet and sour, maybe. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, this is how Ryan makes sauce. He like puts everything in a jar and just shakes it. That was very risky. That could have gone everywhere. I didn't know that that lid was on. Wow. Um. Oh, noodles. Yum. Hello. This is your first vlog appearance of the year. Did you have a nice New Year? Had a great time with Bo, your boyfriend, didn't you? <laughs> she has been napping and farting on my lap whilst I've been working all afternoon. Always blaming the dog. No, seriously. It was, I was like, wow, that's not me. <laughs> and it was just constant. It was over and over again. <laughs> what is this for? <laughs> my sweet girl. <laughs> the tofu is in progress? Process? I don't know the words. I should oh, not be narrating. Yeah, true. What are you doing? Adding some corn flour to the tofu cubes. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna also add some panko breadcrumbs. Lovely. And then fry it up. And yeah, these will give it like a crispy deliciousness. Oh, honestly, like three years ago, I, if you'd have said you were making this for me, I would not have trusted you. I'd have been like, I don't like tofu. I'm not sure I want this, please, no. These, like, after three years, I will trust Ryan to make me anything. It's always oh, yeah, good. A bit of a Chinese five spice. Nice. But Lovely. You, you do like tofu now though, like, you know that you do. Yeah, but like, I don't know, I just completely trust you now with food. Like even if you say you're gonna make something that I know I don't like, I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. 
Let's that give it a go. Impression out of it that you said that. No, but you know I do it. Like when you're yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna make. Oh, what did you say? There was something over Christmas. You were like, I'm gonna make this, and I was like, oh, okay. But it's always good. Like you are just the best chef. Actually, apart from that time you said let's put less sugar in the gingerbread, I'm still like not okay about that. Yeah, yeah. It does it does work better in coffee though, to be fair. But that's probably the one time I think I will disagree with you. Yeah, I mean I disagree with that. So. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be a good food weekend. Whenever Ryan's like really back on his food hype, it's always a good food weekend. Might be a cheer batter weekend. What's a cheer batter weekend? Um, sorry, not a cheer batter. Forget, forget oh, you're gonna make a focaccia? I think so. I wouldn't get too excited though, never done it before, so we'll see. But <laughs> It's gonna be a great weekend. <laughs> Lovely. There that, we go. That final sprinkling of chili flakes. <laughs> this is beautiful. What's the orange stuff? Is that sriracha? Sriracha mayo. Oh, nice. Oh my god, it looks so good. So we've got salt and pepper tofu, noodles with green bean, green beans? No, peppers. Green pepper, and spring onion. Spinach. Delicious. Avocado. Some kimchi, because fermented things are apparently good for you. I've learned a lot this week. A little bit of spring onion on top, a little bit of cor is it coriander? Yeah. And then salt and pepper tofu. Yeah. And then chili flakes. Delicious. So my evening routine every day at the moment for I actually don't know how long now, maybe like a good solid month has been to fire up my hot water bottle and leave it in my bed for a little while before I get into it so that when I get in it is so nice and toasty and this one is really good it's from the white company and it stays I know obviously the bed is like insulating it so maybe it's not the hot water bottle but it stays warm like it's still warm in the morning it's still warm like a few hours into the day and I just think that is magical I've been sleeping so well and it means that I don't have to wear like a million layers when I sleep because I find it so uncomfy. Oh my god, it's so warm. I can't lie, I feel like a hot mess this evening. It doesn't help that I've just been rolling around on the bed with the dog, so I think my face is now a little bit disheveled. However, considering that, I feel like the foundation held up really well. Like I have really nice shiny glow by the end of the day um it's definitely a very like creamy consistency of foundation but my skin still looks so good at the end of the day it has worn off here a lot i've been judging my hair a lot today i just love the consistency it's so it's so different to anything else i own would highly recommend looking into it if you like like a good solid like creamy medium coverage it's not like it's not a dewy finish, but it's definitely not like a satin finish. I don't even know. Is there is there something in between? I don't know what that is. It's not like natural either. It's like really flawless. Also, this uh, hairband has become a real integral part of my evening routine. Uh, it feels a little bit off-brand for me in some ways, because when was the last time you saw me wear a headband? But um, I used it the other day for a TikTok just to kind of like keep my hair away, but now I'm actually like obsessed with using it to like take my makeup off. So I'm just taking my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which I actually use day and night. And I am gonna do the fastest double cleanse in the world because there's nothing I want more right now than to be in my bed. I feel like I've been ready for bed since about four o'clock. Like it got dark so early today. I'm going to take you through what I got for Christmas tomorrow because it was just completely dark by the time I got back from getting my nails done. So we're gonna sit down and talk through everything tomorrow. I can show you my new bag, which I'm really excited to show you. I'm just excited to show you, like I picked up a couple of things for myself over Christmas that I've been really excited to share with you and I've been like hiding from you. We'll go through those tomorrow. It's been slightly torturous not uh, sharing them because I haven't showed them on TikTok, Instagram, literally nothing. Cause I like you guys to get it here first. A little beauty update of things that I have been using whilst I've been away. How cute are these serum bottles? These are like hydrating serums from Shiseido. There's a day one and a night one. I used the day one this morning and I'm not gonna use the night one. Oh, should I use the night one this evening? 
it's actually kind of tempting. Sometimes I use the night one in the evening before or after my skin and me treatment. Depending on just if my skin's being a bit temperamental, you can use something before the skin and me treatment. It's not like recommended as like best practice. But if your skin is like irritable, I read that you can like use something before it. So that's what I do. I feel like it's like okay today. Maybe we'll see how we go. We'll go straight in with the skin and me. And then I'm gonna follow up with a moisturizer that I have been loving using over christmas literally just over like the christmas period i started using it because um i have this skin irritation that you can see there um and i've had it for quite a while now and it got really it was getting <laughs> really really bad to the point where i like tried over christmas to just like not wearing makeup not like using anything on my skin it was like trial and error to see uh, what I could do differently that day and whether it made a difference because it's quite reactive. It was actually triggered by, I did the measurements wrong when I was bleaching my mustache a little while back. <laughs> so if you noticed over December I had quite the mustache, it's because I actually was trying not to like irritate this area further. But yeah, it caused this skin irritation, which it has a name, it's like something dermatitis. Um, I've had it before, but not triggered by the same thing, but I had it on the other side of my and I spoke to Caroline Hines and she was like, just use moisturizer on it and stop using like your actives um, and see how you get on. And it cleared up straight away, but this time it just nothing, nothing was clearing it up. And I was getting really frustrated, like no amount of not wearing makeup, no amount of like just using a light bit of moisturizer was helping. And then I started using this over Christmas and it was like, it was spreading all around here. And literally within one use, it has gone from like being like my entire chin to just this little area. So this is like my holy grail at the moment. So between this and the Shiseido serums, I've just been feeling very like hydrated the past like week over the Christmas period. I've also gone back to using my Ren eye cream. Give me all the hydration. Literally the second I set foot, in somewhere that's like really overly heated or air conned, my skin is so unhappy. I was not made to live in this country. I was made to be somewhere where you don't really need to artificially heat your home. That's, I'm convinced. I'm not made for the UK. A little bit of Kerastase hair oil through the lengths of my hair. As always, literally do this morning and night. Keeps my hair looking really sleek and shiny and hopefully stops it breaking. I always make sure at the moment that the top layer of hair gets like a good amount of oil on it because it's the layer that like takes the most strain. Especially like this back bit as well because you like lie on a pillow and stuff. Good morning, how are we doing this morning? I'm actually feeling really good. I've got this like itch to be productive and tidy and organize things, which normally means I've got my mojo back. So I feel really positive about that because I have been feeling very like lackluster uh, basically for the whole of Christmas so I'm feeling good like once I get that itch to start like organizing my life I'm like oh this feels good so I think this evening I'm going to order a lot of like organizational bits for our wardrobe just so I can store more efficiently and then I can fully organize Ryan's wardrobe because uh, these wardrobes are not in the same world of organization it's this one hurts me and he's actively said he wouldn't mind if i organized it so great so i think a big old house cleanse is going to be coming up soon let me know if you want to see that if you don't do let me know because i will just do it like of an evening looking like a little uh, gremlin so you know just let me know what you want but I thought I would take a break from this brief moment of productivity to show you what I got for Christmas I feel like every year what I got for Christmas is slightly repetitive I tend to ask for the same things year in and year out but to be honest I think that's also a great thing because I feel like people are struggling to buy for me less and less the more repetitive I get the less I'm actually being asked like what I want for Christmas and when people just like go off on their own they always nail it so we've got a couple of Zara home different Fuses. This one is Oriental Light, which uh, Ryan and I both smelt and absolutely loved. It smells like, I think it's the cedar wood in it. It's like cedar wood, musk, and citrus. It smells like a really, really good man. Like it's like a really nice manly kind of like sexy smell. I think this might be like a nice 
living room one i don't want it in the kitchen it's too big for the entryway it could be a really great bathroom one to be fair it's kind of like the step up in its intensity of the zara home signature one fragrance which i love and i have that in my bathroom so this could be quite a nice bathroom one to be honest then Ryan's brother and his fiance got us a sorted caramel Zara home diffuser. And if you watched the Vlogmas video where I showed what I got everyone for Christmas, you'll know that I gifted them the same thing. So we both literally were unwrapping at the exact same time and someone started laughing and I couldn't work out why and then I carried on unwrapping and this is why but i'm very happy to have yet another bottle of this i feel like i'm fully stocked up for the winter i just love my house always smelling like that like i properly ration them out throughout the year shush seagulls i'm just obsessed with them um from my brother and his girlfriend we got a, a little wax melty thing i've never had one of these but one of my friends always used to have one when i was like in my early 20s and i just thought it was so cool but i never ended up getting one and this one is so cute. It's from a brand called Pink Moon and they do like all of these really sweet little wax melts as well. And this one's called Snow Fairy and it actually smells like lush. Um, we've also got orange and cinnamon, which, orange and cinnamon? Yeah, I think that one's gonna be gorgeous. And then we've also got Noel, which is like much softer and more powdery. So I'm really excited to give that a little go. I might actually put it on this evening and get all cozy and get the house smelling all nice after I've done some cleaning. And then I also got some chocolates. Uh, I have eaten some of them, so there's not really that much going on right now. But I got loads of the Love Raw chocolates. If you are dairy free and you miss Ferrero Rocher's, you need to get on board with this because these are like basically the exact same, but no dairy. It is unreal. Um, and then I've also got a little hot chocolate kit which is so cute as well and great because i'm actually running out of the hearth one that josie and charlie gave us and i'm going to be ordering some more of that because that stuff is just oh, absolutely stunning and then from ryan i got a hair waving wand which i'm really excited about this is from beauty works and i actually had a hair waving wand a little while back i gave it to a friend when i was like trying to not heat style my hair uh, because this is something that you kind of put quite high up on your hair and my hair was obviously very very broken during lockdown lots of you will remember i've never let anyone forget I've gone from completely broken to this i will never let anyone forget i wanted something that had like temperature control and was just a slight is this is a slightly different type of waving one the other one didn't have like the the things lots of you will know i occasionally do use my straighteners but it's really long and it's just a bit of a faff and it doesn't give the same effect like you can end up with like lines in the waves because the straighteners just aren't really built for doing stuff like that like you can but it's just not as good so i'm really excited to have something that's specifically for those types of waves because i really do love doing them and then i have got some white company pajamas which i am so happy about and lots of you may be saying but suze you have this color already because i know so many of you are so on it like that i accidentally got tomato sauce on my other pair and i was very 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 sad about it so brian has got me a new version and i'm so happy about because i was really really sad tomato sauce actually just doesn't come out of stuff it's like completely tragic anyway i've got a new pair so i'm very happy about it i can't wait to try them on i've literally been saving them for this video so i didn't want to wear them and they've just been like sat looking at me like wear me susie wear me that is everything i got for christmas this year i've got i also need to show you what uh please ignore the house it's a mess i'm not sure what you can see um i need to show you what i got myself for christmas the boxes are hiding in the office so we're gonna sit down in here okay so we have a bag, uh, which I am definitely keeping. I knew I'd spent so long. I am so fussy and there's certain elements of certain bags. That I'm just like, no, it needs to have this or it needs to have that. No, that's not practical. No, that's not gonna work in my wardrobe. But I was looking for something that could be a really great everyday black bag that would go with everything and I could take it up to a number of occasions whether it's just super casual i'm just like popping out like for a walk and i just need like a little bag a little black bag to like shove my stuff in but obviously i still want it to be like cute or i could take it out for brunch or i could take it on a night out i wanted a bag that did all of those things so i spent a long time thinking about this bag and like what it needed to have and the same for my other purchase that i've made however i just don't know that they're gonna suit me for sure because I know that bags are like, I know a bag is gonna suit me, but the other item is a pair of shoes and you just don't know with shoes whether they're going to be comfy, whether they're actually gonna suit you, whether they style up well in your wardrobe. Like I feel so much more confident buying bags and buying shoes. However, 
I would say the satisfaction I get from like having a pair of shoes that are like an essential, like staple, integral part of my wardrobe is almost like a bit better than a bag. Like once you get there, because I'm again, so fussy with them. But the shoes that I do have, like once I started like really considering shoes as part of my wardrobe because shoes are so hard right like i used to just have like a pair of chunky boots and i'd try and just have a pair of boots that went with everything and i would always find that my outfits really fell short when i wanted to like really finesse a look and the second i really started to expand my shoe wardrobe i found like I just found dressing so much easier. I am aware by the way that this is a very privileged little like chat we're having and if you don't like that please like click off because this is like real like non non issues I am discussing. I am aware but this is kind of what we do on this channel so if you're not down for that please click off this video. If you found me in the suggestions please like and you're not down for this please click off. Don't let me bring down your day and make you angry for like no reason because I am well aware that I am just you know, chatting shoes and bags here. But yeah, anyway, so the pair of shoes, I'm not sure that I'm gonna keep and I really wanna get your opinion on them. I personally love them. Like I love them on other people. I think they look so cool. I think that they would bring a really nice twist to a lot of outfits that I have and I have some real like visions for styling them. Um, I think for me as well for work, like it will be great for like shoots and stuff like that. So keep that in mind with these shoes, they're not an everyday pair of shoes. Um, and it also, oh my God, this chat is so long. I've been talking for seven minutes, sorry. Um, I also just wanted to say that some of this, like a small portion has been used using my Farfetch discount because I sent my Renee, how do you say it, Renee Calvalias? Those shoes, I gave them a little test run in the house and they were incredibly uncomfortable. Like after a while they started really uh, like tightening around my ankle and they were so uncomfy. So because of that, I had a little bit of credit from Farfetch to uh, put towards something. So I used that towards this pair of shoes. So without further ado, because I've been chatting for so long, let's do shoes first because I'm dying to see them. How the frick do I get into this box? Oh. Like these arrived before Christmas. That's how long I've been waiting to unbox these. How does this look? Oh, there we go. <laughs> dusty bags. Oh, that's a really soft duster bag. Wow. Oh my God. Now the one thing I really wasn't sure on was whether to get these in leather. And I did really like them in leather. Um, and I thought given the country I live in, the leather would be a good choice. Uh, however, the sizing availability did make my mind up for me because they didn't have them in my size. Um, but I picked these up in a size 38. These are a really cool statement shoe, but like I said, I need to try them on. I need to like get opinions. I need to have like a faff with them and see if they actually do work in my wardrobe because I have a few ideas, but I'm just not 100%. And they're a closed toe as well, which I do not have enough of. Like my toenails right now, they need a mani and it's been tough hiding them from the world. <laughs> Should I just mani them even though it's January? I don't know. Oh my God, they're so fun. What do we think? I mean, this with my Adenola leggings, this really isn't the outfit, but oh my God, they're so cool. Imagine how tall I'll be. God, how tall I'm going to be like average height in these. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so pretty. Are you ready? I'm so excited. I've literally been hiding this for about two weeks. If you've been wondering why I've been quiet on stories, it's because I literally have not not worn this with an outfit, but then can't show you the outfit. She's so pretty. Also, do you love the fact that I put her back in the dust bag for dramatic effect? Because I've obviously been wearing her. I actually was umming and ahhing in the summer, but they do this in a black and white, which is just honestly incredible I was like that is one of the best like statement bags I've ever seen however this last part of the year I've really been appreciating the the value of an all black bag and not only an all black bag an all black bag that is like weatherproof and I don't worry about like scratching or scuffing up and I started looking for something that was all black like a decent amount of being weatherproof, like small, but not too small, like enough to carry my everyday essentials. Um, but that just didn't have like super noticeable hardware, a big logo. I just wanted something that was like really like kind of like you're like, yeah, that's so sick. But also it's like low key, but a lot of the bags were so low key that I was like, what? Like, no, this is just, it's too plain. Like, this is just, not it's not setting my soul on fire basically i just love to have like a little bit of like an edginess a little bit of interest 
but I also wanted something really plain and all black. So you can see where the struggle was coming in there. So I got this bag. I can't remember what the the name of this bag is, but it is just stunning. It's like a little top handle, but it comes with not one, but two chains. We've got this chain that I've been wearing. I really like this one because it's quite like edgy. And you can like just attach it to the sides. And it's like a good length as well. It's a good length for me, but I feel as though it'd still be like a good length for other people. Like everyone could wear this cross body. It does sit a little bit longer than I'd like cross body, but it's not like bad. It's not like a Chanel bag, like awkwardness, because that's ridiculous. But then they also give you the classic like four chain, like I, the Valentino chains are so cool. It's like four different chains like woven into each other they're so cool so you get their like iconic chain as well however i haven't figured out where this clips onto yet because mm, that's not working tbc on this i'm not sure unless they like weave into each other and then maybe you thread them through i'm gonna google because i still haven't done that um but maybe they go through like this and then Maybe something like that. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm going to do my Googles. And that's kind of cool as well because you can also make it shorter. I'm very happy with it. I think it's really cool. It works really nicely for daytime, but it also is a really great like larger evening bag as well. So I am super, super happy with it. Literally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Literally have not stopped wearing it since I got it. In terms of, I feel like I've talked forever. I'm so sorry first video back and people are gonna be like this is so boring i'm so sorry but yeah there's two compartments it's got a lot of like this is what i really liked about it was it looked very malleable and that's something that's really important to me i wanted something that i could kind of just ram stuff into if i needed and this is that bag like look at the stretch not that i should keep doing that i know but the back bit has like a popper that closes it so i tend to put all of my valuables in this back section so it closes up and like no one can like slip a hand in and then anything that i want easy access to um like my gloves and things like that it goes in the front and then you also have a twist lock as well so that you can really like fully fasten the bag and i really like that i am very very happy with it however it does mean that i am now well well overdue my giant bag clear out which i do try and do at the start of every year now it's coming i'm gonna let you guys know a date very far in advance so that you can like plan for it um it won't be coming at the end of jan because i just think that's a terrible month for everyone and it's just kind of like not fair i'm also gonna have a big depop moment and put loads of stuff on depop like from high street to high end and it would be nice to give some money to charity as well so um i will let you know when that is coming just need to get my bum into gear and get in the room of doom you know and no one no one wants to do that guys i'm really sad they're too big i think i needed to get four they're huge like my foot is just not even touching the back i'm so sad because <laughs> they're so cool i'm gonna see if they still have them um in my size on farfetch or literally anywhere i'll take anywhere this is one of the many ways that i was hoping to style them i've got this really cool like oversized blazer from pretty lavish like i love the sleeves on this it's so oversized can you see how wide they are i thought this would look really cool just like a pair of tights and the blazer not today sadly it's so cool i also do think like the sparkly like this makes them very nighttime this sparkly strap whereas if i had one of the pairs that doesn't come with that it would probably be a little bit more versatile and maybe like could pass for a daytime shoe like a bougie daytime shoe like a daytime fancy work event kind of shoe if you know what i mean i know that's a very rare type of occasion but they happen and then i have nothing to wear also one of the main ways i envisioned wearing these was with tights but i just feel like the shoe detail gets a bit lost with tights and then it's kind of like what's the point I don't know can you let me know what you think i'm really sad i was so excited about these but they definitely need to go back either way because i need to get the smaller size but i'm just thinking Maybe they're not right. I'm gonna, this Farfetch credit is gonna be going around forever and ever and ever with me trying to find like the perfect pair of cool shoes. Good morning, everybody. I look wild. This this needs to come off. I've just filmed my black gray kind of, I don't even know what to call it. I need to come up with a name. I wish I was better at that. Um, whatever this is, this smoky eye look, I've just filmed it um, for a reel because so many of 
who requested it, which Shara was really shocked by, but genuinely, like I just posted a photo of me wearing it and I was like, mm, this is gonna get dead engagement because it's just mad. And everyone was like, can we have a tutorial? I have to say, you lot do keep me on my toes and I love that, but I don't know if I can sit with it. Ooh, my new makeup mirror just arrived. I've got a big one and I'm so excited. But anyway, I'm not down for sitting with this much makeup on my face all afternoon when I'm just like gonna be editing at my desk. Like there's a, there's a lot of foundation on. You always end up putting a little bit more on for camera than you normally would because it just picks up stuff that you, you the eye can't see, but the cameras can. So this is coming off. So this tutorial should be up on my Instagram tomorrow, I think. Hopefully tomorrow, but if not, then Wednesday. If you've got brown eyes, you're gonna to wanna to watch this one because it's actually a really lovely look for brown eyes. It really makes them, like the cool tone really makes them pop. And that coolness basically just makes the eyes look super warm and almost like Twilight Vampire-esque. This look reminds me of a cross between like a Twilight Vampire and Wednesday Addams from the Netflix series. So much better. <laughs> So fresh. And you'll all be pleased to know that I'm feeling much less anxious work-wise at the moment. Just feeling a lot better, a lot more comfortable on camera. It's taken a week to get back to it, but I think I finally got there. No one say anything nasty in the comments to undo it. I think we have uh, come to a close on this vlog. I don't really have anything more to update you on. So I think that is officially it for my first video of 2023 i really hope you guys have enjoyed watching and how do you end vlogs i've forgotten how to end them what do i say that is it from me today i will see you guys again soon love you bye